Hello friends, today I am going to show you the efficient use of batch transfers in which cases you can use batch transfer along with uh, packaging and how it is useful when you have one vendor who are supplying for multiple customers. So I have identified uh, use case with three items beer bottle cheese and cookie which all are set as you know replenishment on order and buy uh, from the same vendor <coughs> so first i will register different orders for customer one i am selling him 100 unit of beer bottle then cheese 200 units and cookie 150 units okay as soon as I confirm the order it will create PO so beer bottle cheese are there and cookie I need to check I forget replenishment on order and then I have vendor defined so let's say if I cancel this SO it will automatically cancel my PO also now I'm going to SO4 again set to quotation confirm it again it will create a fresh PO with all three items beer bottle cheese and cookie okay so the expected arrival is, is today only I am confirming the order now I am registering a second order for my second customer with let's say cheese 50 units and then cookie 100 units as soon as confirm order it will again raise the purchase order RFQ with my same vendor I confirm that order also now I am registering another order for a different customer. This time I am buying beer bottle, 200 units, and cookie, 100 units. I confirm the order and then I will confirm the RFQ to go to my same vendor. So here if I go to my inventory operations, I will have defined receipts. So you can see my vendor one with three different you know, receipts 38, 39, and 40 PO, which we have recently generated, are there. So I'm going to my PO and showing you PO 38, 39 and 40, which are here, 38, 39 and 40. Effectively, all three items are, uh, uh, all the orders are coming from the same vendor. So to speed up my operation, I can club everything and combine into a single batch. Okay, and assign a responsible and make it in a draft state. So this will be a part of batch two now. So if I go to my impressions and batch transfer, I will find this batch with all this information, these three items. As soon as I confirm, it will have all these item listed as a part of my different transfers. Okay, and in operations or here, I can add custom field, uh, maybe not now, but yeah, I can add uh, to know the source location. But anyway, uh, now what I will do is, uh, my vendor is sending me all these item in different, different packaging, but he is clubbing the item. So beer bottle he is sending all three units, you know, 
in particular box so i will make put it pack so this two beer bottle has been pack in pack number 5 combinedly for my orders and rest this two cheese item which i will say 250 again put in pack it is now part of pack number 6 and all three cookie i will just set quantities and say put in pack so it will be now part of pack number 7 so this is how all the items are now received uh, going to receive at my location when i validate it so if i go to po po number 38 i will have received but now it is part of my batch you can see batch are there and all packaging are assigned automatically here so with batch transfer i can speed up my entire consignment from my single vendor who is serving my different orders with this way and i validate so here for cheese i have a control policy of lot number so i say l011 So I am using L11. So maybe I need to go here and add my number over here. So L11 is here. If I refresh this, I will find my L11. Let me pick up existing one that is better. Okay, and then I validate entire transfer. So this transfer has been done and all my you know, purchase based receipts are also done. You can see the receipts are done now. Okay, for all the right items. Now it's time for my delivery management. So I will go to my orders and I will register my deliveries. So these are my order numbers 24, 25, 26. If I go to my sales order 24, 25 and 26 which are respective to customer 1, 2 and 3. <coughs> so what I will do is I will go to customer 1. The items are already in reserve state. I can directly set my quantities and deliver those items. And this I can do like 24 number. I can create one batch. The second one I can create second batch. And third one I can create a third batch. So when I go to batch transfer, I will have three batch. When I go to first one, as soon as I confirm, it will list down all my items with respective source package. And then I want to repackage it because these are the package which was sent from my vendor. And now I will define a single pack. I will repack at my warehouse and combining everything into one single pack and then deliver it. And validate it.
the same way as soon as I confirm the another customer delivery I will have two different package I will say put in pack and then validate my delivery and for the last one for the third customer it is only uh, when I confirm two items from two different source package I repack at my warehouse single pack and I validate it so this is how the batch uh, transfer can be used while received from single vendor for multiple uh, you know items and multiple customers which you can effectively use so this batch transfer can be used both way when you are receiving when you are delivering and you can combine everything if you can uh, manage in the single screen hope this will help for a large warehouse transactions where multiple uh, customer orders are served from a single vendor and the vendor is sending all the goods together in the packaging thank you